Well, howdy guys, thanks for stopping by. This is part two of How to Grow Your City. I'm your host, Imperial Jedi. I do appreciate you guys making your way back on over here. And uh, where we last left off, my goodness, we actually made a very good uh, little, you know, foothold right here. Got a nice little starting city, if I uh, do say so myself. So you can kind of see, not too bad. I think the goal of this episode, um, I was kind of saying this towards the end of the last one, is essentially to get ourselves ready for public transit. Maybe make the city a little bit bigger. Um, you can probably already guess by the thumbnail, what we'll be doing is um, bringing the highway down, putting in um, a custom interchange right over here, and just kind of extending our little box formation of the uh, the city. And um, we're going to add some more services, take a look at some, um, yeah, just, you know, the basic bread and butter kind of stuff again, right? So healthcare, um, death care, you know, fire coverage, police, garbage, the works. And I'd like to maybe do an upgrade to this interchange here so that it can um, accommodate some more traffic. And then we can also get the city ready for um, some public transit in that sense as well. Because I don't really want this to become a big choke point here. So it's going to take a little bit of upgrading. And it is going to be a little bit challenging. So we have alternatives just in case you guys don't want to tackle that. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to uh, post in the description or the comments a link to the little interchange, not interchange, um, the little park that sits in the roundabout right here, this circular one right there. And I'm also going to post that interchange that I'm uh, going to be posting over here too. It's kind of cool, so if you guys want that. And my asset list, it does change so frequently. Um, it's kind of also part of the reason why I don't really post one. So I remove constantly tons of stuff and add tons of stuff. But if you guys do see uh, maybe a mod or two that you're like dying to try, or not really a mod, sorry, like an asset, um, I'll try and track down the link for you. And then this was just based on uh, some of the comments coming from the first video. So for those of you that don't have any of the mods installed, or maybe your computer, you know, can't quite handle it, or I, I totally understand if modding does seem a little bit intimidating and it's just not your thing, that is totally no problem. Like, you're really, like, don't worry. So I'll show you a few little tips and tricks to kind of get the, uh, the roundabout to work without any uh, of the mods. So let's say over here um, we just have our generic little road. We want to build a roundabout on here. We want to make it nice and uh, even, Steven. Okay, so we're going to go to our... Um, I'm just going to pause the game and give us some good sunlight here. Go to our curved road. Not the squiggly one, but the curvy one. And when we move out, you see that blue line that appears? That comes at 5 units. So if you go all the way to the end, that is 10 units. So you can use those as points of reference. So for your little in-town city kind of um, roundabouts, so you click when you get to the 5, yeah, the blue line appears, don't go too far. Find the five again. There you go, so five by five. And all we're looking for is that blue line is to appear. If it hasn't appeared yet, you're not far enough. Don't go too far. So five by five. And so that's a really simple way to get your inner city ones, not too big. If you want the a little bit bigger, say for your highways, that kind of stuff, 10 by 10. And then an easy way to get the big roundabout. So all we're doing is it's going right to the end of that little blue thing. So if you want kind of the way I did it with the little squared off sections, we'll just kind of do that again. And then periodically throughout the little video series, I'll kind of throw in these little tips here and there. So just kind of, you know, keep an eye out for them type thing. So we can go out to the 10. Right? 10 as well. And if we want to, now we switch to straight. And then, same idea, we can just go until that pops up. Let me switch back over to here, wait for, you know, so there, there it is right there. So that's 10 units. Go right to the edge of that, also 10 units, double check there. And then we didn't square off the inner part, no problem, we didn't have to. But just so you guys have, you know, just options, right? See how that appears at the five unit mark? We can see it because we're using a mod that shows us the units. But for those that don't, just keep an eye for that, you know, the blue little thing to show up. So five units. Go all the way down to the ten. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that. Same style of roundabout. Maybe not a hundred percent the same, but you can kind of see how you would be able to make it. You know, a little bit of deviation, right? So maybe use those as kind of a point of reference. Maybe that'll help you guys out. And then if you did want, say, sizes that are um, different than say five or ten. Actually, let me just show you this really quick. So what you can do, using the exact same kind of guide, so there's the 10. Now we're going to count. We can feel little clickers. 
one, two. You can almost hear them as well, right? So that means we're at eight. So find the ten. Count back. One, two. There's your eight. Eight by eight. Now we're doing custom side. So there's the ten. Move it back your two clicks. There's the ten as well. One, two, eight by eight. So you can kind of see the idea, right? And you'll visually know, you can see if you've done something wrong. And then in the beginning, it really is more about function than it is about beauty. Try and get things kind of working with the mechanics, understand that first. There you go, just some more options. So I hope that helps you guys who are a little bit uh, maybe stuck on some of the, um, the roundabout creation. I've had a few comments about that, so hopefully that helps. And I do want to make some more just little, you know, five minute tip videos. Maybe I'll do a little video on roundabouts, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so uh, I want to start over here and I want to create like a double stack. And this is going to be a little bit complicated, but at the same time a little bit fun. And this unfortunately is not the same height as that. So this also two birds, one stone kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to leave those little things there just for point of reference. And I think this is still enough room that our slope won't look too steep. So I'll kind of show you what I mean, but we're basically going to back this whole thing up. We don't really have the world of money right now, so I'm actually going to take out another loan. Because you got to be cautious, because what we're doing here is we're working on our only way in, essentially. So if we mess this up and run out of money, oh boy, we are in trouble. So just keep an eye on that, you know? So let's move our services. Police station is a little bit further down the street. Firehouse a little bit further down the street, no problem. Just get rid of these. I'm going for the old even Steven approach. So let's grab ourselves an avenue. This is going to be essentially the bypass. Okay, you know what we'll do is, so we know that nine is the minimum height we really need to get over. So why don't we do this first? And we'll just do a little visual check. That looks like the pillars are nice and even Steven. And then we have 15 units on that side. 14 on this side, so it's not going to be perfectly even. So why don't we go out, say, <clears throat> maybe 8 units. That way the intersections aren't too close, and you'll kind of see what I mean by intersections. So go down by 8. There we go. See, not too steep. So if we wanted to maybe upgrade this to, say, trams. Um, actually, so my plan going forward is, so this is like a little two-part thing, one and two, how to grow your city. Um, after this, I want to do another little two-part thing, but geared towards public transportation. So we're basically going to get the city ready for that. And then next episode, uh, we can do some public transit. And then as the city grows, we'll make things more and more complicated. Like, we'll come back to public transit, do like a round two, uh, when we do like, you know, harbors and shipping and trains and stuff. So we'll maybe, you know, just keep the city going. And so far, I haven't overwritten any of the saves. So I still have the previous save point, I got this save point. So what I can do is I can upload them to the workshop. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to use some of the custom content, though. So it's going to be, you know, some holes are going to be there just in case you guys don't have that. So I'll do my best to kind of fill the asset list as well in case we're using, you know, like, you know the custom churches, that kind of stuff, right? Um, if I do end up missing something, though, just double check all the, um, uh, you know, your services, that kind of stuff, right? So it won't be perfect, but I, I can try and help you guys out a little bit here. And what I can always do as well is just do a vanilla, no mods, very basic, simple starting thing as well. And I can put that on the workshop. Or maybe we can just start with that just to kind of see, to give you guys a little bit of a, um, a helping hand. Okay, so over here, we want to go above this road. That's kind of what we're aiming for. We're going 12 units, because we know that's kind of the maximum length to make things kind of work here. We need to go up by 18 be able to get up and over top of um, this stack right here. And you can see it's not too steep. I made this one the lower one because of the trams. I think it would look a little bit silly to have trams climb this high and then have to go all the way back down. Seems like that would be not the right kind of uh, engineering, right? And you can kind of see the issue here, um, why we can't continue, is the pillars are getting in the way. So if we do happen to have this mod installed, which is the no pillars mod, so bridges are for water, elevated roads are for, for land. We could take out the pillars if we wanted to. So that kind of solves that. Or if you don't have this installed, no problem. Work around, just do this in two stages. And we'll do it together, just so they're even. That just goes out to here. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Okay, so what we actually did on this side was not the same. You kind of see the inner part here was um, a little bit different. So why don't we go to there, it looks like. Yep, and then I think that's how we came down. So 12 units long. We're going back down to the ground level. And then we also have the one-way arrow mod on. So we'll turn that on and we'll take a look at our um, just directions, make sure we're going in the right way. Okay, so switch to the upgrade tool. Just right click on these, get them going the right way. And then we'll reattach these little connecting arms. And, you know, not too complicated. It actually wasn't all that hard to do. But we've now got a double stack, which is kind of fun. It does look like the city goes ever so gently downhill when you go this way. So I have a feeling, and this is something that you might not be able to get away with in your city per se, but we're going to try something here just so I can show you guys just, you know, how to use the topography to your advantage. Maybe we can go down by 15 and still achieve that same look, but now the roads aren't too, yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. Okay. So, again, 12 units back down to the ground floor. Just these little tweaks. Don't be intimidated or afraid to do them. Especially if you think, you know, it'll look better for the long run. And if it doesn't, very easy to change it right back. And that's also part of the reason why I don't necessarily put, um, I know these are there for reference, but we're going to do those again. Uh, public transit and stuff in, in the beginning. Because the roads, especially the initial layout, it's in such a state of flux that you'll drive yourself a little bit crazy having to keep moving buses and, and this and that around. Okay, so we've almost got this all reconnected. What we need to do now is add these. And so I think I should go from that way just so the approach looks a little bit cleaner. And then change our direction. And then we're going to have to use a traffic mod to do a little bit of tinkering around here just to make things kind of work. And if you don't happen to have one, also, like, it's totally no problem. You'll just end up with one extra set of intersection, like of traffic lights, which is kind of why I wanted that spacing to be a little bit, um, a little bit wider right there. Okay. So these look like they're all going in the right direction. And we're going to our traffic mod. I happen to be using traffic president. There is also traffic plus plus, I believe. So we're going to take out our traffic lights. So clicking those off. Cool. And then we're going to have to change the turning lanes because our goal of this is basically to bypass the roundabout. So we don't want people to be turning left or right onto these things or off of them. So we'll go over here, click on this side. We only want people to go straight. That's an easy fix. Same with on this side here. We just turn that one off. And then most of these mods, um, within the description themselves, there's going to be tutorials, sometimes some YouTube videos, a little bit of you know comments from the author, and I, I will keep my uh, mod list updated. A new one for this episode is the Prop and Tree Anarchy. That one, when turned on, you press Shift P to turn it on or off. You can take um, any any you know any prop you want. So we can use trees, for example, and just put them anywhere. So complete anarchy. Look at that, it's going right through a building. So pretty neat if you're doing overlapping stuff or some train yards you want to put some stuff down some static cars stay on top of roads or if you want to fill in some parking lots like that kind of stuff so i mean mods you don't have to have them if your computer can run them you know all the power to you even if you have a not the best performing computer you can probably do one or two maybe a traffic mod just to kind of make things a little bit more you know helpful so we're going to go back to our lane arrows and then these we only want them to turn right so that's just basically like the roundabout people. You're not going onto the street here. You would go that way to go this way. You would use the roundabout. So we'll do that on all sides. I hope that makes sense. I just don't want people, you know, blocking and having to stop for this bypass. Otherwise, it's no longer a bypass. So both of these now turn right. Turn that one off as well. And we can just do the visual double check. We can look at the actual lane arrows themselves just to make sure we're doing the, the right thing here. And that looks like it's all connected up. And then another thing you can do is you can change the internal speed limits around. So instead of, say, upgrading this to a highway tool, what you can instead do if you want is, you know, using, again, one of the traffic mods, increase the speeds this way. 
So now we're making this an 80 kilometer an hour road. So it's almost as if it was a highway. We can make it 100, whatever you want. So you can make little in-town expressways. Say we can make this one here a little bit more attractive to drivers to ensure that they actually use it. So I want to put that speed to say 70. You don't want to have your transitions be too ridiculous. Like I wouldn't go from 130 to 50 because then the road, you know, the cars will just look so strange. So that kind of stuff, just, you know, keep, uh, keep it in mind. There we go. There's a few fun little fixes. And now we have like a nice little fun interchange as well, I think. And then if you wanted to, let's say you're the type of person, kind of, I'm like this way, that's why I'm kind of suggesting it. If you don't really like all of this, you think it's like kind of the concrete jungle kind of look, what you can very, very, very simply do, like I don't have the proper energy on right now, just take note of that, um, is just start going crazy and you can bury your interchanges or some of your larger infrastructure projects, kind of bury them in nature almost. And so what we can do is just very, very simply overlap some trees together. I happen to be using quite a few downloaded ones because I think that the game itself doesn't really offer enough options. I think they have actually increased them, which is good. And when you get close to your pollution zones, the trees are going to have kind of a dead little look to them, they have like a fall kind of effect. So just some look better than others when they're close to the pollution. So that's also something just to, to keep in mind. And you can see I'm just kind of clicking any little place here, it's just a little bit random. but. What I'm looking for is some diversity and some density. And we'll just keep on switching the types of trees we're using. It looks like this type is used a lot in the map, so maybe this can be a predominant color. And really, the more variety, the better. But of course, this is totally subjective. If you don't want this, if you want instead, say, concrete or something, there's mods you can download, uh, like terrain texture pack kind of stuff. So totally the sky is the limit, which is great. And you can see this isn't really taking too long. So don't feel like you're like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna spend the next 10 hours doing this. No, no, not at all. Nothing like that, right? Maybe we can throw in some pines too. You can just kind of see now, like if you do this throughout your entire city, which I have a real tendency to like to do. So you can kind of see maybe those pines don't look too nice over there, right? But it just has that city within a forest kind of look, right? See, that was, wasn't too much effort, but look at the effects. Really cool. I'm taking screenshots, like that kind of stuff. It just looks a little bit more real as well. Because there's trees everywhere. Help with, you know, breathing quality and that kind of stuff. So there we go. Nice little upgrade here visually. And uh, actually, you know, because now we're getting a bypass road. And no traffic lights too, so smooth, hopeful, fast merging. Not too many people should get backed up by this. So we'll put the speed on one speed. Maybe we can restart our day here. And what I'd like to do now is start uh, expanding on what we have, get some more residents in here, bump up our budget, and then we can start um, bringing down our highway and uh, adding in some more services. Okay, so we'll just start moving at a fairly decent pace here. Now, something that you probably want to keep in mind when you're doing your... Um, just general city layout, is you don't want to be too far from a wide road. And whether you're using the custom ones or these ones here, it could even be a six lane road, just you know, keep in mind, they're really good for moving traffic, so I wouldn't necessarily have, say, small streets like this, two or three of them, and then have my wider avenue here. Simply because people coming off the highway, they're going to look for the shortest route, they're going to take this. They're not going to drive all the way down here, even though this might be faster moving. They're going to, you know, bunch up on this road. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind. Um, consequently, if you wanted to, to force people to use that, that's what one-way roads are for. You'll probably notice them in your own city. They have kind of layouts like this, right? So now when you're coming off the highway, you can't go this way. So what we would do instead is we would have our avenue to support higher traffic over here, and then boom, they're off the highway, you're going this way now. Look at that. Pretty simple. But we can still zone and access over here. It would just be local traffic only would be using this road. And our length is a little bit messed up there, so we can fix it. And there's a little trick using one ways, just to kind of get traffic to move, you know, kind of in your in your favor. And this is stuff you can do without a traffic mod to kind of, again, kind of get traffic moving where you want it to. So it looks like we've severed the link in between our um, our city and our power producers. So we're going to get rid of these hydro boxes, and I think we're going to put some power lines back in. And we'll just string those right across. There we go, no problems. 
put it back on 3 speed just to kind of get things moving in the right direction again. So I think that just in terms of look, I don't want things to be too wide. So I'm actually going to go like this, scale that down. And then just because I want, just like I have a certain look in mind, I'm actually going to go like this, switch this to the avenue. So it's a wider road allowing more traffic. And we're going to have this one kind of go parallel with the highway for a little bit. And then it's very, very simple um, over time to do bridges and that kind of stuff over the highway and have even more bypasses or, or this and that. Okay, so a lot of demand right now for uh, industry and commercial. So let's start meeting that demand. And if we start putting those in, we'll see a rise in uh, demand for residential. So we need workers, obviously. And then we'll have the taxpayers and the money to start buying some more services. Okay, so just keep it in mind, efficient use of the squares here. See how we're a little bit lax here? We're kind of open areas. You don't really want too much of that in your industry. Efficiency, I think, is the name of the game over here. So we could do that same trick as before. We do a few inner roads. Nothing too too crazy. Maybe follow the pattern of the roads around it just to make things kind of flow visually for the eye a little bit better. And then we can always connect to existing intersections. And because it's a little interior um, kind of facility road like this, we don't have to have all roads lead out type thing. So we want maybe three instead of the four. We really want just local traffic only here. And then again, the idea is just to use the inner space a little bit more efficiently. Okay, so same idea over here. This one we can probably make a little bit more boxy. Now I just happen to be using skinnier roads just so that we don't get that lost in the concrete jungle kind of feel. And then since we went to all corners on that side, well, I guess we can't do it on that side. But if we wanted to, we could stick that right there get rid of the traffic light by making that a one-way road going in. There, see, bada bing, bada boom. So just use those kind of tricks to your advantage, essentially. And so we'll switch over to some commercial. Maybe we could do some commercial down here. People don't have to go that far to do their shopping. And then by that same logic, maybe we can do some over here too. In case you're at work. Now for the sake of symmetry, just in the grand scheme of it all. Instead of making another crossroad on this side, I'm going to wait and line it up from over here first, just so that things kind of look a little bit nicer. So we can even do that, but um, first, we're going to have to put in the highway to make sure that doesn't get in the way. Okay. So uh, we had talked about making this an elevated highway. I just realized we brought this back down, so I guess we're going to make it a ground level highway. Like Either is totally fine. You can even make it a sunken highway if you want to. Just use some of the terraforming tools. So ground level highway it is, that's no problem. As you can see, most plans are very easy to kind of change around. Oh, looks like we need more power at this point. It's also one of those things, you don't want to grow too quickly. Because imagine we didn't have the money for the power plant, right? Then people start moving out, then industry kind of has problems and, and this and that, right? And then maybe we can't afford more services, so this area starts burning down as it is right now. So. My best piece of advice always is don't go too fast. I'm comfortable moving at this pace, you know, because I want to keep the video moving along rather quickly. And also, I'm not, you know, I kind of know what to do here in terms of, like, I don't panic when this kind of stuff happens, right? So, fire coverage should be improved upon that area as well, but one thing at a time. Okay, so, day restarted. Back to one speed. And just in order to keep the flow of this zone kind of working, well, let's build ourselves that bridge I was just talking about. So we're going to go, say, to here. And we can try and line it up over there as well. So perfect. Don't quite get that to, to match on this side, but that's fine. Oh, and not long enough. Now, I don't actually think we're going to have enough room here to build... Yeah, okay, so I unfortunately have gone a little bit too close, which is no problem. I think if we back that up, this should now be even. That's 13. That's 14. So that's wishful thinking. Alright. 
doing the same kind of method I did right there before. Let's try this again. So we're going to find here. This is a little bit strange. We're going to go out by 8. Oh, that's not, that's not a good way to do it. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. New plan. Just so I can get this even. We're going to find... That's 6. That's 8. So we're going to cut right there. I know this is extraordinarily strange the way I'm doing this, but maybe it's something you could use for like point of reference for yourself, right? So we're just going like this. And then we want to find the eight points. So we're going, I would say, here. Right, that's eight right there. So same idea. Erase that. Perfect. Unconventional, but it does work, which is convenient. Okay. Bring this up to a nine. Bring it right across. And is that really six on that side? I guess it is. There we go. So highway bypass. Now this roundabout won't get as much action. Same with this little bypass here. So if we do route some public transit through here, we'll have some breathing room. Because now this half of the city can just access this industrial zone through this bridge. Pedestrians can walk, bikes can get over there too. So super convenient. And then now we have a little bit of symmetry so we can continue this going right down this way. So let's put it on three speed. Let's be a little bit aggressive here. Get our population and our money up. <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> Leave that just like that. <clears throat> and we'll do a little bit of interior streets here. And if we want to, we could do some diagonals just to kind of mix up things a little bit. They don't necessarily have to be four-way intersections either. And again, just things look a little bit different when you're looking at it from overhead view. And if we wanted to, we could still do these inner roads and just, you know, mix them up. All I'm trying to get across is that the sky is the limit. There really are no... Like, there's things you can do wrong, but there's a lot of stuff you can do right, is a good way to put it. Well, there we go. Busy town. Perfect. Unlock some more stuff for us, too. And I think that actually unlocks the... Um, uh, intersection I'm trying to use in that really cool spot down there. There we go, a couple ways in and through. Mix up these spots here with some shopping. Go back over to our industry. And I think the long-term goal for our industrial zone was to go up and over. So I think we're gonna make a boundary here of commercial and you can do that with either commercial or office or whatever you want. And then we can start getting some residents below here. And if you make enough of a gap, then the pollution, the noise, that kind of stuff, it won't really bug them. And then for people that do work around there, they'll appreciate being really close to work. So that's not too bad of a commute time. Commute time is also something you got to keep in mind for your for your poor people. You don't want to be keep, keep making like your suburbs further and further away from the available jobs. Otherwise, no one's going to work there type thing. Okay, so three speed again. I gotta make sure I stay on that. And we're gonna bring our highway down so we can now attach that new piece. Perfect, that's probably far enough. And it's this thing here that I was using. Just right click for 90 degree turns. Put that, say, right there. That's kind of cool how it just flows over the, uh, the water like that, actually. Yeah, it's a really nice kind of profile height. Cool. I like it. And then we'll go ahead and connect these two. And we're going to use 12 units to go back down to ground level there. And just reconnect that like that. And it looks like that is maybe slightly, ever so slightly crooked. Just the slightest, ever littlest amount. If that kind of stuff does bug you, um, easiest way to get around it is erase most of this highway and then redraw it and then the line it's like almost hidden right so you won't even tell so if we want to we could use the traffic anarchy or sorry we could use the traffic president mod to increase the speed limits here or very simply we could use um, highway tools now or highway roads just upgrade this and because there's residents we probably should be using the sound barriers but no problem and then say for example right here we can't because of the pillars or the space or whatever. This is when you want, say, like a no pillars mod, so you could do some no collision right here. Or if you wanted to, use the no pillars, sorry, over here, uh, and just remove them in that sense. 
So that's why, you know, personally, I like using the traffic mods and all these little extra mods. Mods themselves are a little bit easier on the computer. If your computer's not the best, don't do too many assets. Maybe just one or two mods. And then mods, they do use your CPU. They use that kind of uh, processing power a lot. And then assets, they use up your uh, RAM. So just kind of keep that stuff in mind too. Okay, great. So we've upgraded that. We've got highway speed going the whole way down here. Restart our day for the sake of some uh, some sunlight still. People are using our bypass, which is extraordinarily convenient. That keeps traffic down here not too bad. So it's really cool with the trees, right? There we go. So highway speed moving through. Unfortunately, you can see we have some clipping with our little street lights here. If that kind of stuff really bugs you, make your heights, you know, the corrects. Or if you really want uh, the fix for this, and again, you have to be using one of these mods, is you would remove the, see right here, we'll just take these out. Oops, we'll be elevated. So we'll take out our street light, and then we'll go to this, and then we'll put that on. Oh, we have to upgrade to a different road first, and then when we go back, so we might as well go through the effort, I'll just show you. So for most things in the game, there really is options. So we take out our, our lights here, and then when this goes back in, you can kind of see we got no issues. Neat, right? So for you fans of the realism, that's the way to do it. Okay, so let's reconnect this whole area up rather quickly. Let's go across like this. That was our, our plan, it looks like. Now, to me, it looks like this is slightly, slightly, slightly crooked. So I think the highway itself may have gone in like 1% crooked kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is make our feeder road here, because we know this is symmetrical. And then we'll connect these two together. Yeah, that's, that's a good plan of attack. Oh, well, yes, looks like it is slightly off. See, 89.3. 89.2, yep. Just the littlest, littlest a bit off, but that's okay. Those kind of things you can hide in, uh, you know, in trees or, or that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> okay, so continue this. And luckily, we do have the money to kind of build at a fairly decent uh, pace right here. So we're just going to fill this whole area in. And I believe I had a hospital put right over here. This is a custom one. If you don't happen to have this, you can always use one of your own. This is the one I used. That one is 65,000, so we're very close. Maybe we can even take out another loan. So a trick you can do, say we're in the spot where we can pay back the loan, pay it back, take it right back. Pay it back, take it right back. Look at that. Big boost to our money. So we'll put in that hospital. Looks great right there. Put in a back street like that. Connect these over. And it's a little, what is that little crooked bit for? See our roads here, they're just a little bit off symmetrical. Here we go, just keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. And then say here, for example, what we could do is maybe use that little bit of symmetry in our favor. And if we want, we can have that kind of hidden away. I say going, going like that behind it. Just a fun way to kind of work with, the, uh, with your area. There we go, just some options. All right, looking for is just, you, we have a lot of services in here already, so it doesn't make too much sense for us to keep moving too far out, right? Because then it's a little bit disproportionate for how much we're paying for services, for how many people are actually using them. That works. We're not too close to the highway, so sound shouldn't be too bad. In this spot, because it will be pretty loud, we're going to switch over to um, some commercial. Bring in our residential. Maybe bring in some commercial for this whole area right here. <clears throat> Same idea as before. If we wanted to, we could always do something on the inside like this. We're familiar with that. We can use existing intersections if we want. Just connect any little which spot essentially. And then we'll bring in some uh, utilities. I almost said facilities, but. Not quite. 
great. That is basically that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna expand a little bit further on this, just maybe fill in some of the side streets and that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna do another little two-part little series and that'll be geared towards uh, public transportation, like that kind of stuff. So let's maybe connect this side of the road over here. This didn't kind of match what the thumbnail looked like. And there we go. We have ourselves an extension on our city. And we're just now ready to put in some more services. So we'll need to worry about garbage, you know, some of the stuff we unlocked too. And we'll just, you know, take a look at death care and like schooling, that kind of stuff. So I hope this is pretty helpful. You guys should hopefully be well on your way now. I'm liking the way this is looking. And uh, definitely post your comments. I will definitely make more videos too. So subscribe. And if you guys enjoy it, hit the like button. And until the next one, happy building, guys. And yeah, definitely let me know what you think too. And we will continue to move forward. So many more videos to come. And they will get ever more increasing in uh, difficulty too. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves.